Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and I'm really excited to be sharing with you today this fabulous project using our Pretty Ponsetta 3D embossing folder. These embossing folders are fantastic for creating quick and easy Christmas cards, but I'm going to show you how you can take this to the next level to really layer up those designs to make them look super, super pretty. Okay then, so let's dive on in and get started. You are going to need your Pretty Ponsetta 3D embossing folder. All of the materials that I'm using I've, linked, I've listed and linked in the description below and you can also shop them all online at www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. So the first thing that you'll notice with a 3D embossing folder is it's a lot thicker than a standard embossing folder. So you need to adjust the plates in your machine accordingly. On the website, if you go onto the website and scroll down to the very bottom, there's a, a, a link that will take you to a page that gives you all of the plate combinations for your different machines with these. So for example, today I'm using a Gemini machine. So I'm going to be using my base plate, my magnetic shim and my plastic shim on the top. And that is all I need to emboss this folder. So I'm going to start off by taking a piece of plain white card. I'm going to place that into the folder like so. I'm starting with the open end of the folder, feeding into the machine first, and we're going to feed that through. So we'll just give that a couple of seconds and then we'll grab that when it comes out the other side. So when we take this out and reveal the image, you will see we have got these beautiful three levels of embossing. So you've got that beautiful script in the background and then you've got that gorgeous floral image in the middle. And it's almost like the paper on this has been sculpted. It is such a beautiful, beautiful folder. So you're gonna to need to do this four times. I'm gonna do just one more to show you and then I'll show you how to glitter it up. So again, fold it into the card, into the folder, pop your folder, open side in, place and then run that through your machine and then once we open this out you can see again we've got that beautiful embossed image so what we want to start and do now is we want to start and glitter these up so I'll bring in the one that I've already done. So I've got a one that I'm going to keep as a base layer and I'm going to just leave that as is. Then we're going to start and want to cut into this. So you're going to start off by taking your glass slipper glitter, which is this one here. Okay, I'm going to start off by cutting out the image. So I'm just going to cut out this full concetta So just working around with my scissors like so. It's nice and easy to follow as well because you've got the kind of that little embossed line which you can work right up to. So it's ideal. really just work around the image with your scissors and I personally I still love cutting out I know some people prefer to use a die cutting machine but I honestly love it I find it so relaxing and so therapeutic there we go so that's the first one done there and then for the next layer we're going to snip in again Just following the lines and cutting these out. Like so. 
then you can see how pretty that then looks. So we've got the base layer, the second layer, and then for the third layer, you've just cut the little five petals out from the middle. So I'm going to take my PVA glue now and start to glitter the leaves of the poncetta. So we're literally just going to work around and add in the glue and I'm just glittering between the veins. Okay, so we're just going to work round, just working in between the veins like so, and just infilling in with the glue. And then I'm going to cover that with my glass slipper glitter. Okay, so you work all the way around and do all of the little petals in the background, the more solid ones and cover them with your glass slipper. So then for the next two layers, you do exactly the same thing, but we're gonna swap in and use, um, this one is Diamante Sparkle, the glitter that we're gonna use for this one. So you'd literally just go in and infill like this just do two petals just to show you but you're literally just tracing so i'm going between the veins so in effect on the raised areas i'm just kind of infilling it all with my pva glue like so and then i'm going to take my glitter i'm going to sprinkle it over tap away the excess and then you can see when that dries you'll then end up with a finished one like this and you do exactly the same for the top layer too so we're going to start to build up our base card now this is a really nice quick and easy project if you want to make some amazing christmas cards that look really kind of wow this is a one for you so i've taken another bit of white card and i've just trimmed that down to seven and three quarter inches square i'm going to take a chisel tip glue pen I'm going to drag this along the edge it needs a bit more glue pushing down there we go not worried if i go off track here either because we're going to just use this as like a little four glitter mat and layer so i'm not worried where i've kind of just smudged a little bit there just going to work along each side Same with this one just down there and then we're going to cover that with our glitter just like so and then next up we're going to take our base card and we're going to stick this piece down flat onto there so i'm going to just take some um all-purpose glue to do that Go over here so just a little bit of color this is just kalal all-purpose glue that i'm using on the back i'm going to scribble that all over and then stick that down onto your project like so and then next up we're going to take a piece of silver mirror card and i've trimmed this down to seven and a half inches square i'm going to pop some foam pads onto the back of here these again, as always, are our foam pads on a roll. They are absolutely fabulous and I love them. They're so, so easy to use. There we go. Then we'll whip the backs off of these. I 
and then stick that down onto our base card like so and then i've taken a piece of our vellum and this is from the frosty christmas vellum pack and i am loving placing this over a bit of mirror card it looks so so pretty now lots of you always ask to ask me how do i stick vellum and i literally use my art glitter dries clear glue put a tiny little blob of glue in each of the four corners and then i pop that down onto my card and just press and that is enough to hold your vellum in place on your project then you can see where i've got a little bit of adhesive showing so all i then do is go back in pop another little blob there and then grab in my bling box so this one that i've got here is the frosty christmas one so you can see how you've got all those beautiful blue colors in there grab out four of my little jewels and then just stick these down over where the glue is there we go and then we are going to take our lovely little one that we've already got embossed here i'm going to edge around the side of this one with a little bit of glitter so just grabbing my little scrap envelope here a little pot of glitter in and I'm just going to drag along each edge like so there we go so you can see how pretty that is then looking we're going to grab in some silver mirror card like so and i'm just going to measure this piece to see what size i've trimmed it down to so i've done it to five and three quarters so i'm going to cut this down about six by six okay and what we're then going to do is take some foam pads onto the back of here going to get stuck down onto our base card into our little mat here even just that on a six by six card would be beautiful with the sentiment so then we'll just grab some more foam pads to stick this one down so just a few foam pads onto the back here Then you just want to make sure you've got the script the right way up before you stick it down onto your card and then i'm going to take some of our little self adhesive sparkles that we've got here and we'll just dot a few of these about in the background so let me grab my tweezers there we go so then literally all i did is just went in and just added a few of these just into the background dotting them around on those gorgeous little berries
like so. And then we'll do exactly the same with some of them at the top here. So I'm just gonna grab another little sheet ink because I've used all the smaller ones. So we'll just add a few of these and I'm not adding them kind of onto every little berry. You can just dot them around a little bit like so. But you can see how this adds such a lovely finished effect to the project. Okay, and what I also like to do sometimes as well is take my glue Just add a few dots in to the background like so and then I'm going to take my glass slipper glitter, sprinkle that over the top like this. And then you can just tap away the excess and then we're going to take our gorgeous poinsettia and we're just going to kind of layer this up a little bit. So just going to curl the petals between my finger and thumb. I'm going to take a couple of foam pads just onto the back. I'm going to do a double layer just to give it that little bit of extra depth. Okay, and then we just want to line this up over the image like so. I'm going to take the next one. The foam pads on the back. down onto there and the next layer I'm going to curl the petals between my finger and thumb I'm going to take a foam pad pop that onto the back like so I'm going to twist that round and stick that down and then what we're also going to do is just add some more of the little jewels from the bling box into the middle. So we're going to take three of those. So you can see how gorgeous that then looks and then we're going to take a little sentiment and we're going to stamp that and pop that in the top corner just pop my pin in my glue but you can see how much depth and dimension you can really build up with these 3d cut and embossed folders they are absolutely gorgeous really really pretty oh there's my stamp just going on the floor let me just grab that So I've got my little Merry Christmas stamp here and we're going to stamp and emboss that in metallic silver sparkle. So as always, I've got my Wow Clear Embossing Ink Pad. I've got a bit of white card here. And I'm going to take my little anti-static bag, give it a little dust over, just get rid of any grubby fingerprints on there. And then I'm going to ink up my stamp. Place that down and press. I'm going to sprinkle over our embossing glitter. Any excess is going to go straight back into the jar and then we're going to heat this up. going to take our guillotine just going to trim down our sentiment so as always with my sentiments I tend to just trim these by eye
And then I'm going to take a little bit of silver mirror card and just mat this onto here. Just a little bit of glue on the back. And again, I do always just do this by eye. So you literally just stick that down. I'm just going to trim this away like so. And that, oh, throwing things about. <laughs> That would then go just onto our base card at a little angle like so so again i'm just going to stick that with a foam pad and then i'm going to take I've got a bowl that i've already tied it's a little bit big let's just make that a little bit smaller that's better going to get stuck onto our card there like so so let me just take some glue gel like so and then I'm going to take a little bling stone and that's just going to go in the middle of the bow like so and that would then be our finished project but you can see how beautiful and contemporary that 3d embossing folder looks really pretty so this one's just on a 300 gsm white card and this one was onto some white pearl cards so you can see the difference in those two projects i really hope that you've enjoyed today's video please do give it a like on youtube and give us a like on facebook too if you're following if you love the style of projects that we bring to you please do subscribe to our youtube channel where you're always uploading lots and lots of inspiration as always everything that i've used is linked in the description below and available to buy from chloe's creativecards.co.uk so please do have a little look on the website and i hope to see you again very soon thank you bye